I really don't like to get my hopes up. Um, I'm supposed to get my period in six days, and usually um, about a week before I get my period, I start to get very bad cramps already, and so far I've had none. <clears throat> this could very well mean nothing, but who knows? Um, I don't know. I'm getting my hopes up, like I always do. I, I, I don't know, something feels different this time. It is September 22nd, four days before I'm supposed to get my period, and I think 12 or 13 days after my ovulation, I'm sorry, 10 or 11 days after my ovulation sick tested positive, and today I'm experiencing cramps, so likely I'm not pregnant. And that totally stinks because yeah, you know, every month I tell myself like I'm not gonna have any expectations. I'm not going to think that I'm pregnant, and yet every month I tell myself that I am, and I get my hopes up, and then I feel disappointment when I realize that I'm not pregnant and. I think that will continue to happen because I'll always be hopeful. No matter how many months that I try for, I think I'll always be hopeful that this is the month. And it's hard. It's hard to go through this every month. I have like this high, these high expectations and then like have it ripped away. But I know that at the end of the day, God has a plan. And whether it takes another year, two years, whether it never happens for us, I mean, that would hurt a lot, but God knows what he's doing. And I can't have any type of resentment or any type of... I don't know, anger or bitterness towards him because he's using me in so many ways and I can't be anything but thankful no matter how much it hurts. But anyway, once I do get my period, which will probably be in a few days, um, I will contact my infertility doctor and we will set up a Day to go in and have blood work done because they just they need to do like a pregnancy test before I start the um, femoral electrosol uh, just to confirm that I'm not pregnant and then they'll start me on that and we'll see if that is successful for me. So just as I expected, my period came right on time this month. And, well, I shouldn't say just as I expected. Just as I expected a few days ago. <laughs> um, my period came, and it came yesterday, so as soon as it came, I was like literally on my lunch break, I went to the bathroom, noticed blood on my pad, and I was like, okay, calling my doctor. So I called the doctor, called the infertility doctor, and um, scheduled so they wanted, they needed to take blood work so that they confirm that can confirm that I'm not pregnant. So I went in this morning at 7 a.m. and I had my blood drawn, and then they sent over a prescription for Femera, Letrozole, um, that I will be starting tomorrow morning, tomorrow night. Sorry, Saturday night. So they called me um, probably around like three o'clock today. They called me. And they left me a voicemail and basically it's just like, oh, we just wanted to let you know that your um, your test results did come back negative, so you can go ahead and start that. Let your result tomorrow. I'm like, no kidding. Like, obviously it came back negative. I'm clearly not pregnant. 
but okay. <laughs> I get it, they want to do it justice and make sure, you know, 100% sure, certain that you're not pregnant, but I obviously I could have told you I wasn't pregnant. <laughs> um, but I'm taking the Letrozole starting tomorrow, and they I have to research this. They told me I take it, and I want to make sure that I'm 100% with this, so I should probably just make sure by researching. I should take it um, five, really? Cat butt. <laughs> five days in a row, um, every night at the same time. And I take two capsules. And then uh, in a week from today, which is Friday, I am going back for an ultrasound and they will be able to determine at that point like the effect that the electrosol is having on me and then we'll go from there. I was super confused when I went to go pick up the prescription because they're like, so just with, they needed to have like a consult with me, a consultation with me and then the pharmacist was like, so just so you know, um, if you're taking the letrozole, like I need to like say this to you, can you not? Oh, this is my only child. Actually, I have another cat. <laughs> This is the child that I have for right now. Um, no, uh, what was I saying? So the pharmacist, she's like, yeah, so, um, you know, just because you're, you're of, th of that age, I just wanted to make sure that, you know, um, you're not planning on um, becoming pregnant or um, that you are not um, already pregnant if you're taking this because it is a category X drug. And I just like looked at her and I was like, um, She's like, the letrozole. I was like, yeah. Um, my infertility doctor like prescribed this for me? Like, she's like, oh, oh. She's like, yeah, you're, you're planning on using it to become pregnant then. I was like, yes. <laughs> she's like, okay, yeah. So just, you know, you use it to help you become pregnant, but then you don't use it once you find out if you're pregnant. I'm like, yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> I was so confused. I'm like, this is like... I mean, it's not a drug that was originally intended for infertility, but it's a drug that's used for infertility. So when she sent that to me, I was like, like, this is, okay. But anyway, I'm hopeful that this will work out. And, um, but I'm also not trying to be too hopeful because I don't want to disappoint myself like I always do. <clears throat> All right. I just had to vent. Um, just quick quick little venting session here um so I post a lot on social media about my infertility journey and my struggles and I do it because I want other people to other people that are struggling to have someone that they can relate to and confide in and just know that they're not alone in this and I'm in a good place in this journey I'm sorry I just ate dinner I don't think there's spinach in my teeth. Got it. Okay. <laughs> but anyway, I'm in a good place in, my, in this journey. Of course, I get disappointed when I find out that I'm not pregnant, but I'm hopeful and I'm not, like, stressed. I wasn't always at this place, but I am now. And I feel good because I know, like, whatever happens, it's in God's will. And honestly, like, that's my, my viewpoint on this. So when I'm sharing posts, it's not out of a place of frustration, it's out of a place of hopefulness and also out of a place of love because I want other people to know they're not alone. But every time that I share a post about my infertility struggles, someone has to comment on it and tell me, and I know they're coming out of a place of love, so please don't get me wrong when I'm like saying this. They are trying to help, but it, it's hard because they, the people that are saying this, they've not, clearly never been through this. They will comment and say like, oh, well, you, you just need to relax. You just need to relax and it will happen. Like stop trying to, stop thinking about it and just relax. And like if you've never been through this, like you don't know how hard that is to say. Like, I'm as relaxed as I possibly can be in this at this point in the stage. Like, I'm not just going to forget about it. Like, I'm going to always want a child. So please don't tell me to just, like, relax and forget about it. Because, like, that's not possible to just forget about it. And I'm in a very good place. And I know you're trying to be helpful. But please, 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 don't, 
don't just tell me to relax because that's not I mean if you've never been through it you don't know but it's you can't just forget about it you can't and I mean as re I'm as relaxed as I possibly can be so relaxing is obviously not just gonna do it for me you know it's God, God's gonna do it for me what in his timing um, so if you if, if this is you and you said that to me or if you said it to anybody who has been struggling to conceive I know you're coming from a place of love but it's really hard to hear and it's really hard to to take that advice because it's something that I'm trying to do but it's not really possible to the fullest extent that you necessarily are that you necessarily think it is so I I'm, I'm that's just a little something I wanted to share if it's if you've ever tried to give advice to someone who's trying to conceive and you haven't struggled with it yourself I urge you to just bite your tongue and just be there for them because that's what they need most